Why do you say that, that there is more downside to come here? Is it based on historical precedent? Is it based on the action that you've seen in the market over the past few days? What tells you that we have more downside to go? Well, it's a combination of both, plus some work that we've done on investor sentiment, both, frankly, in our conversations that we've had, as well as some of the data that we look at. Let's start out with just how the market is acting. Um, one of the things we've been talking about a lot these last few weeks is how the market is, has just an eerie resemblance to the trading that took place in September and October of 2008. For whatever reason, we just seem to be following down that same path on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you look back at that period, we had plenty of big upswings in the market that took place in the context of major downswings. So we looked at the rally we had last week, and we said, hey, guys, this is actually just keeping in line with that late 08 playbook. Don't be fooled by it. Now, when we think about sentiment, I will tell you, frankly, I've done this a long time, Ty. I know you have as well. When we get to bottoms in the market, and just think back to December 2018, people aren't talking about their shopping list. You hear panic in people's voice. And while I applaud the investment community for being calm right now, I'm just frankly talking to too many people who want to buy. This is not what bottoms smell like in the market. Now, let's take it away from the conversation and think about data. Look at retail investor sentiment. It's been tracking at about 52% bearish if you look at the latest AAII survey. It's been around 50% for the last couple weeks. In the financial crisis, and I think we're, unfortunately we have to start talking about that example, bearishness got up to 7%. 70% in March 09. It regularly hit 60%. Um, we see similar things when we look at gauges of institutional investor positioning. So, frankly, I just don't think people have gotten concerned enough yet. You know, the late and the great Jack Bogle used to say, don't just do something, sit there at times like this. And often that's the best thing to do. It's a time of high fear and high anxiety. And as I think you were driving at there, it may not be the time to feel like you need to be pressured into buying on a down day, which is maybe what the professional investors uh, have to do uh, because they're being graded every single day, every single quarter. The individual can take a somewhat more nuanced or laid back approach, I suppose, Lori. No, I, I think that's fair. And look, we're not recommending that people try and trade these day-to-day -day moves. I want to be very clear about that. And I do think there is going to be a buying opportunity somewhere in here. Our target on the S&P for year-end is 2750. But when, you know, I, I just, I, I watch this show, I watch other shows, you know, the investors I talk to, my traders, frankly, there's this big discussion going on about whether or not we've seen the lows. Can we call the all clear? And I think it would just be, you know, misrepresentative to say that I think that we have.